God, these these conditions are just perfect. Perfect. Finally. Ah! Good morning. It's uh, I woke up just before the sun rose. Watched the sunrise. Drink some coffee. Just been hanging out on the boat. Did a little video editing. Uh, today is supposed to be absolutely perfect uh, sailing weather. So, what do you say we give it a shot? I'm going to jump over to Navionics. Kind of the all-around works great for sailing. This one's easy to use. Um, download it anywhere. Okay, so this is, uh, this is basically Navionics. I'm not going to go through all the features. So, if I click this little weather button here. It'll tell me wherever the crosshairs are at, it'll show me the weather for that area. So in a couple hours, I'm gonna go ahead and head out. Okay, so the important thing here, uh, we're moving along. All right, so that's my confirmation proof that we are moving. We are leaving bubbles behind us as we go. And we are, this is called goosed out with one sail on each side. I don't know if you can actually make out the little wind direction thing up there. We are going dead downwind and uh, doing 3.8 knots. So I'm gonna stay, and the wind's not even going good yet. So um, according to the app, we're only got uh, seven knots right now. So much more quiet. This is, oh my God, this is so good. It's always something with this boat. Problem is it's, it's been claiming I got 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, right in that range, this whole trip. And uh, right now I should have about 24 meters below me. So that's a problem. Yeah, it says we're doing uh, four and a half is set five for just a second there. Okay, so we have made our 90 degree turn. Phuket's back behind this island now. Just look at that view, guys. I mean, how do you not like throw away everything you have in your life and just do this? Like, come on. I don't know what you're doing today, but I'm living. <laughs> so far today, two points of sail, and it feels like the wind just picked up. It's either like a long gust or, yeah, the wind's just picked up. We're uh, back on a beam. I'll show you the sails and everything again here in a moment, but we're back on a beam, um, headed back the direction we want to be headed. Got uh, some better wind. This is uh, how I expected it to be from the beginning, but just uh, for months, I haven't had the, the weather I wanted to actually get out there and experience it and play with it. So quiet, so peaceful, I'm kind of loving it. This is going really well. I mean, really well, like, so many concerns, like, like until you do something, you just don't know, right? Like. It's all theory. And then once it finally goes and it goes this smoothly, it's like, oh. And really it's just easy. Okay. You know? I've uh, been worrying about nothing for nothing. This is, uh, this is pretty simple stuff. I don't think I've said it on the video yet. Uh, now's as good as time any. Hold on, let me, uh, let me find a better position where I'm not getting cooked by the sun. So I uh, talked with my son a little bit and came up with like uh, the solid long-term plan here. I'm going to spend about a year and a half sailing over to Alaska where I will spend the winter and I'll do a bunch of maintenance on the boat. So yeah, saving, as, saving up as much money as I can until then. I got a lot of things I wanna get done. By the time we can head out summertime, he will be just about 17 years old. And uh, then him and I are gonna go around the world um, a second time together. That's, uh, that's the big plan. That felt like a strange bang. 
I'm guessing it's just a sail luffing, like it's kind of a new feeling for me, but come out and make sure I'm not bumped into a rock. Yeah, there ain't nothing out here. Uh, we seem to have a bit of a squall coming in. Uh, things are picking up, so I'm gonna furl the head sail a bit. Um, and maybe take down the main. I don't wanna try and figure out how to do a reef right now. So, uh, yeah, gonna jump on it. Just wanted to throw out there, we are doing uh, more than seven knots right now though. So that's, that's kinda cool. Okay, so that slowed us down about a knot. All right, I don't feel, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and drop the mainsail. I don't wanna do a, a reef, so I'm just gonna bring it down. Right now we're doing low sixes. Pretty steady, it's, it's really smooth, I do like it, but uh, I don't know. Looks like the squall's off to the side, not coming right at me, I'm just catching the side of it. Holy shit. There's a boat right next to me. I never once saw him on my horizon. All right, we're back up to seven and a half knots. I'm just gonna take the main down. Uh, I ain't got time to try and learn something new. Healing pretty good, so apparently pulling the main in isn't gonna work. Let me back out. I'm gonna have to just drop it, and not pull it in, I guess. I don't even know if that's really possible. Maybe I'll have to come about, kick on the motor, and just abandon this fucking game. Maybe this is the good wind I've been waiting all day for. And I'm doing seven and a half knots. Okay, that's everything I can get off the head sail and still have that jib on it. All right, so here's the plan. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the main up. I have the head down. If I don't like the way it feels, then I'll come about uh, going to irons, which is pointed straight into the wind. You can't go anywhere that way. Use the motor and the auto helm to keep it pointed into the wind and then drop the, uh, the main. But right now everything feels pretty good. We're doing about six and a half knots. I'm gonna wait until we're hitting eight knots before I, uh, I'm gonna say eight and a half knots is my abort, abort point, yeah. The waves have mounted quite a bit too, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around and show you that. Um, you can see the little white caps. That's how you know. Um, the wind is getting on the strong side. Maybe not ideal for learning to sail. Um, right at the edge of where I should be considering reefing. You know, the winds are steady. I think these are, these are the wind, the, the seas I came out here for. Uh, when I got up this morning, I think they're an hour or so late, but they're here. There, I mean, this is ideal. I'm gonna go ahead and come about as much as I want to go uh, grab a couple beers at Kofifi and celebrate. I think I'm gonna come about and uh, celebrate in Phuket. Yes. Realize what this means. Like, um, so far today, I've hit like three or four points of sail. I feel comfortable with them and it's just a matter of like, you know, eventually I'll get in the habit of being able to look up and go, well, the needle's pointed that way, then I need to go this way just a little bit. Or, you know, I need to do that, this or that to, you know, whichever sail. Um, it, it's coming together. I'm super happy. This is, ah, this is beautiful. I'm fucking going around the world, guys. Tiny bit of head sail, maybe toy with it a little more, a little more kind of thing, but uh, 
Okay, it's out, but it's it's just flapping. Now I'm gonna tighten it up over here. And so what I've been doing right now is I'm just pulling it in until it stops flapping, and that seems to be going all right. We are up over five knots again. Oh, I haven't checked Navionics. Let's jump over there and see if we're even uh, where we're even pointed right now. Okay, well, good news and bad news. We've come about, but we got to go a lot more. Okay, we're getting more flap on the head sail, so I'm uh, I'm gonna tighten up this one, and the flap is gone. So I think that's a good thing. Uh, I need to get back over to Navionics and uh, check my course and everything. Okay, so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do this for I don't know 10 or 20 minutes so, <laughs> Oh Fuck guys, this is good. You ready for this? All the diesel I burned and all the time it took I could have been to like the last trip could have been faster. I am going pretty quick right now like 5.4 on like I'm loving this weather this is yes I needed this this strong wind like this right on the edge 10 11 knots perfect because it draws a clear definitive line of what actions need to be taken when Instead of wondering, well, if I do this or I can do that or should I do that, you know, like, and you make an adjustment, but it doesn't really have any effect for five minutes. Yeah. Look at the uh, the mass to the horizon. That, that kind of gives you an idea, or this to the horizon. Gives you an idea how much we're healed over. Uh, and again, it feels smooth. It feels comfortable. And this is basically what... 80% of the trip up here was. If I had had a clue what I was doing, I could have been here faster uh, without spending the fuel. So that's why I was laughing. So, I was so scared and so worried and so whatever. I just, I needed that, this experience to, to bring me up in. You know, the winds built. <laughs> I got a little nervous for a moment, played with it. Um, to be honest, I would feel okay pulling out a little more head sail right now. And I'm kind of thinking about doing it just to see what happens. So, um, yeah, fuck it, let's do it. Yeah, I think I need to get some better camera equipment. I'm real nervous about doing this shot, but, um, I'm going to try and get it anyways. Um, yeah. Okay, my big... My big fear is trying to hold this where I can see and not go up my phone. That's a pretty good shot, actually. I can't see real well. I hope you guys are loving this. God, these, these conditions are just perfect. Perfect! Finally! Ah! Uh, it just doesn't do it justice from here. Those are full sails, man. That's like everything is just like, yeah, I'm liking it. Pretty healed over still. Should point out that I am currently like sailing into the sunset, right? Like, I just got to point that out. We'll turn it around, give you a quick update. So, uh, the little slider deal. Uh, slid over and smacked the um, the auto helm wire and shortly thereafter I started having trouble with the auto helm so I've been man manually steering um, whoa um, I definitely like you know kind of being healed over a little bit more 
I've gotten uh, the first couple of times I got water up on the deck was a little bit nerve-wracking but um, as I've gotten used to it it's you know I mean it's no big deal um, I feel completely in control um, the occasional wave, the occasional dip down there doesn't really make a difference. I'm going to turn it around and uh, point it in the cabin at the window. I don't know if you'll be able to see through it or not, but I'm going to try. See the water through the window there going up on the deck. I'd love to get you a better shot, but this is the best I can do right now. This is also where she seems to travel the fastest. Alright guys, I was just at 7 knots, um, let's see if I can find that sweet spot again, there we go, 7, 6, alright now I'm going to show you how we're sailing, literally sailing into the sunset, this is, oh my god, so amazing. driving us. Oh. I cannot put into words how amazing this this feels like oh my god and the view could not get any better I, don't, I again don't think the camera is doing it justice it is just like huh. I'm going to turn the camera around again yeah, I think my next uh, my next big voyage is going to be kind of out to sea a little bit more. See if I can uh, maintain steady travel um, and head down to Penang. Um, should be a, a rather lengthy haul. I feel like if I can do from here to Penang and then back. I'll more or less be prepared. Not just the skill, but that much time alone, that much time at sea, shit that can break like the fracking auto helm. So I just want to wrap this video up. Um, it's been, I'm back, back in Phuket. Uh, I arrived late last night. Um, actually motored the last little tiny bit, but I played a lot um, on the way back in. I was <laughs> somewhere between uh, close haul and a beam, and I, I played back and forth trying to find like the fastest point and like healing too much, a little excessive heal, and then uh, not not enough. And I remember reading this post. This guy had uh, his his sailing teacher told him. Um, he, he was excessively healing. He let out the sheet and the teacher said, well, you should have turned into the wind. 
And then later, he turned into the wind and the teacher said, well, you should have let out the sheet. And there was this whole like Q&A debate on Facebook on what and why and like why would the teacher come from that angle. And I think it comes down to navigation because there's two ways to, to take out the heel. And one is to let out on the, uh, the sheet this, um, you know, well, what controls how much the, the sail is out, right? So if you let it out, then the boat stands up. But if you turn into the wind where it doesn't have as much grip on the sail, then the boat stands up. And, you know, it comes down to are you pointed where you want to be pointed? You know, like, do you care about your direction or do you care about your your enjoyment of, of the ride, right? Like, which one do you want to do? It, it comes down to the, the individual situation. So, um I'm really glad that yesterday was just so, so phenomenal, momentous, like, I mean, milestone reached as far as, as this big journey, um, you know, taking off around the world, uh, never fucking sailed before, and I'm already kind of underway, you know, and, um, to it. yesterday god i fucking needed it like my morale is through the roof this is fucking been yeah yeah i did it every point of sale i like yesterday i was on them all at one point or another fucking no worries i no longer oh what point is it man no you just you you move things like based on what they need right and i like, there's no way of knowing, like, how do I tell you, oh, well, you need to lean to the left and you need to lean to the right. And that's how you keep your balance. No, you got to like, oh, you're falling this way. Fucking lean the other. Like, it takes experience, you know. And I, I couldn't even imagine doing this in a school with some guy telling me, oh, safety this. Oh, put your harness on, blah, blah. Man, get the fuck out of my way. Let me goddamn learn. Um, and that's how I learn. Out there making the mistakes, healing, excessive healing. There's one time I thought this fucking boat was going to go right the fuck over. Uh, wasn't recording that, but, uh, you know, but you know, I didn't, I didn't panic. I just, you know, like, oh shit. And by, by the time I had pushed it that far that I was like legit scared, I was deliberately on the fucking edge. You know, I was playing with it, you know, like, when I learned how to drive before before I got my driver's or my driving permit, my dad took me out on a lake and said when I could get the car into a flat spin and back out, then I was allowed to have my permit. He taught me on the edge before I was allowed to do the safe normal like okay, now here's how you do it safe, right? Like get out there and know when you are fucked and and then that way, you're never scared up to that moment. And and when shit goes fucking sideways, man, just drift into it. No worries. So, fucking buy a boat, guys. Like, this is the life. Ah! Oh, it's going good. All right. Thank you, everyone, for watching. This is amazing. You got to get out here and do it. And, uh... I, I haven't even gotten into like the tourist stuff really yet. Um, I'm looking forward to making more of those videos. I think the next video is going to be a repair video, but I don't know. Maybe it'll be the party in Phuket video. I don't know. Either way, it's been amazing. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.